Welcome everybody to this video on sales analysis using dashboard. Uh, today, we will look at a dashboard and the insights I was able to draw from it. Uh, these, all these insights I gathered on this PowerPoint presentation and I'll be sharing them with you. So let's begin. My name is Shivam and currently I am a student at Ivy Pro School. And as one of my milestone projects, I created this report. And now before we get into the insights, let's first have a look at the raw data. So uh, this is the products table. Here we have the ASIN number, what brand it is, uh, ratings of product. This product ratings is by the company itself. So it's not the customer ratings. Uh, the total reviews, what's the price of the product. And this is the customer rating. Next, we have reviews for it. The ASI number, this is a common column between the two table that joins the two. Uh, the name of the person, the customer who gave the review. Is it a verified purchase or not? How many helpful votes he, uh, the comment has? Uh, the brand. Uh, new date. So there was a date column, which was not in the date format. So it had to be converted into date format. Um, then the customer rating, which is a VLOOKUP column from the products table and the product rating similarly. Then there is the divergence and the price. All right, uh, now let's get back to the insights. All right, so these are the objectives. Firstly, we are gonna look at the quarterly analysis of revenue generated over in the 15 years, the data is, uh, the data ranges from 2004 all the way to 2019. Uh, next, we're gonna look at the brands which might generate better revenues. So there are brands which perform very good. There are brands which can perform that well. So we're gonna look at those brands which can perform and look at the data. Why are we suspecting that these are the brands which can do better in the future. And finally, we're gonna compare the revenues generated by various brands. All right, uh, now let's have a look at the dashboard. Uh, so as to have a knowledge, work, working knowledge of uh, where did I get the insights from? I'll be referring to this dashboard in the later part of the presentation as well, uh, but just a brief overview of dashboard for now. This is the dashboard and uh, this is the ratings and revenue chart, the quarter wise sales here. And next we have the products unit cost and the revenue that they're making. And finally, the authentication trend, uh, whether the customer is verified or not verified and how the trend has been increasing over the years. Uh, these are the slicers. We can pick multiple brands, let's say. Uh, this is the timeline. If I wanna see the uh, the data for 2016, I just have to select 2016 and I'll see how have different um, different quarter-wise sales and all of that I'll be able to see. So um, I will not be doing all this analysis right now on this video because I have done it already. I'll simply be showing the results which I derived out of it. All right, let's head over to the first objective. the quarter-wise analysis of revenue. So here we have a pie chart depicting the four quarters. And what we see is that quarter four is contributing to more than 30% of revenue, almost one third of the revenue. Um, and quarter one, on the other hand, contributes to less than 20% as the graph shows it. What else we can see is that there are times, for example, in 2019, when the quarter one revenue slipped down to less than 2%. And what are the insights that I can draw from it? From quarter four, it's very clear that it's a great time for business. It, it is when the customers are coming, a lot of influx from customers is coming and people are interested in buying products in those times. 
it is obviously very very much suited for discounts and offers and more and more brands more and more companies want to advertise themselves in those times so it would be fitting to charge higher for ads to brands in those times to generate higher revenue higher uh, income sources in quarter 1 the quarter 1 analysis is more about reducing the loss re increasing uh, you know checking the unsuspected market can we do something about making more revenue in these times uh, obviously the record is not too promising um, what we can do is we can brainstorm ideas amongst each other which will be very helpful what i come, came up with is we can upsell some goods uh, along with the larger goods we can sell some uh, some small goods along with it let's say for example we are selling mobile phones we can along with that we can maybe upsell an earphone all those ideas maybe lowering the advertising cost during during those times all these things can be helpful the next analysis is about the optimistic brands the brands which might make us more revenue than they are already making so this is the graph all right i'm going to take a minute to explain this chart we have this bar graph which tells us how many customers buy from this particular brand so let's say for example samsung uh, there are 33600 people who bought from samsung there are 8800 people who bought from motorola and so on next we have this line chart uh, and uh, this tells us the relative ratings of a particular brand this 100% stack line is the combined average ratings there are some brands which are xiaomi huawei and oneplus which are doing far better than the average ratings and but the problem is this that even though they are doing above they are giving us above average ratings uh, they hardly make us any revenue because the customers that they bring in are much less as compared to others so what can we do about it what are the insights that we can draw from this these three companies are rated highly by customers that is something that we can be sure about so probably these customers are buying from other sources other streams rather than buying from e-commerce what can we do in order to bring those customers to our e-commerce platform well we can offer exclusive deals to bring these customers to our platform and we can also support the three brands uh, in terms of providing them discounts on ads and uh, maybe putting them on the front page at times to attract attention of the people who would like to buy from these three companies next we have the brand wise generated revenue from all these given brands we're going to look at which one of them generates the highest revenue the 5.5% of the total revenue is generated by just one brand that's a staggeringly high amount samsung samsung is one brand which generates over 55.5% of revenues which is 95 million which is 95 million in total over the from the remaining brands Apple, Motorola, and Google—the three account for fifty-three point nine percent of revenue. What can we derive out of this? Well, if we put these four companies together, we see that we get we get over eighty percent of our revenues from these four companies. What we can do is we can offer discounts on these products. We can promote these brands to a larger audience, and we can also bring customers. uh who are buying from other stream to ours by again including exclusive deals maybe putting up the banners on the front page and uh, telling customers about hey we are willing to sell the brands you are interested in at a rate lower than what you will get from the outsides
this was all I had to share. This was my analysis on the whole video. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, let me know. If you would like to connect with me, I'll make sure I put my LinkedIn contact in the description below or in the I box above. Uh, feel free to get connected and uh, I'll see you guys with some other analysis some other day. Until then, have a good one.